We did the same thing. But we expanded it. What do I mean by expanding it? First of all, the last couple of years, we have had more and more men coming forward. Can a man commit the sin of abortion? Absolutely. He can't have an abortion physically in his body, but he can choose it in his soul. He can choose it with his will. He can be guilty of the same sin. These are the men we're talking about. Men who forced and pressured their wives or their girlfriends to have that abortion. Or who cooperated in it. Or who perhaps were just passive. They just didn't say anything. And let it happen. And now they grieve. And now they mourn. And now they repent. But they stand up, my friends, in hope. We grieve, but we are not despairing. We hope. We grieve in hope. And that's what these men did. They stood up and they said, I regret lost fatherhood. That's their, the sign that they hold at these gatherings. Now, again, we've done that in past years. Now, as I say, we're getting more men than ever before. But this year, we expanded it even more. And this is what I shared with the Holy Father. I've had the vision for a long time that we need to see visually Visually, that abortion hurts everybody. Not, obviously, it kills the baby, first of all. It hurts that mother, not sometimes, my friends, not most of the time, all the time. Without exception, that mother is deeply damaged if she has an abortion. It hurts the dad, we're coming to understand that more and more, but my friends, it hurts everybody. There is like an explosion when that abortion occurs and then the shockwaves reverberate to wider and wider circles of people who are impacted negatively whether they know it or not. And this is a message now that we are focusing through Priests for Life and through the Silent No More campaign. We are focusing on raising awareness of this fact and then together with that calling people to deeper healing in these wider circles. I'm going to tell you who these people are. 